an eight by 16. It comes from Dick Blick. It's kind of a special size. Hey, Sherry. It's kind of a special size that they don't sell at Michael's, but I do like this size for certain projects, especially, especially. That was so Mississippi, wasn't it? Especially at Christmas time when I can do smaller, like tr Christmas tree things on this size canvas. So we're gonna do just a random like wave of glass and shells and we're gonna use this great big monster shell piece in our piece as well and a few others. So for the um, bigger ones, I am gonna go ahead and just lay these down. I don't even know what you said, Richard. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, My email has a click here to join the challenge page, and I did, but I can't find it anywhere. The challenge hasn't started, sweetheart. I don't know what you mean. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. So I'm gonna lay these big ones down first, okay? Because here's why. If I start laying my glass down and then I put this on top and then I resin, it's gonna have glass up under our big shell and then it's gonna rattle because the resin won't be able to get to it unless I lift it up and do something special. So I'm gonna leave the shelf, I'm gonna put these bigger shells down first and kind of get an order of what I want, how I want it to be, and then um, we'll start adding all the goodies because I don't want a bunch of loosey-goosey um, glass particles and stuff up on the hem. So I am going to just start laying out my bigger pieces. Now I do have a big starfish. So let's see. I love these things. Is this not fantastical? I stinking love this. Love it, love it. So we're going to, hmm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being random because I told her, you know, I don't call, I don't like to copy people's stuff, but I will do like my version of it. So it was kind of a curve. So we want some of this to curve and we'll use the glass to make that happen too. So then we'll put um, a couple of things. Let's get a couple of these shells. I'm trying to keep it as light as possible. Oh, I love this one. Oh, look at this one. That's spectacular. Look at this. Isn't that fun? And we'll put one of these here. So, so I'm just kind of playing right now. And then we'll come in. Mexico Beach, I hear ya. They're great shells, aren't they? So, let's see. I want some baby ones. Let me dump this bag out, this Hobby Lobby bag. Oh, look at these babies. Look at these little babies. Oh. Okay. So, let's add a few little babies here and there. No, you don't have to. Leah, the only thing I really glue down is if something wants to move. If it's wiggly, like a round surface, um, and wants to move around, I would glue that. Like some of the bigger augers want to move like this. So I would glue that down if I was going to use that. And I may. And I do have my glue handy, my Aliens glue. But as far as these pieces, no ma'am. You do not have to glue these down. I just uh, keep that uh, glue handy for smaller bits. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this so far. So, but we need to fill in with some smaller things. So I'm actually gonna add a couple of these bitty ones. Hmm, I'm just starting to add in a few things. Okay, so now I have this bag of shells. It's just a random bag of teeny teenies. Hey, Deborah. How are you? Turn it upside down. Well, I don't think it's right side up or upside down. The glue. 
Okay, so now these are just random shells. So I'm just going to start just, and I wanna try to keep the, this in kind of a curve. So I'm not gonna go way out here, but I am gonna just start adding in a few things around. Oh, it is upside down, see? It's upside down in my shell bucket. <laughs> Yep. Yep. And especially that one because it's almost empty. So the minute it starts getting empty, you definitely have to turn it upside down. Okay. I don't like that one. It's kind of orange. So we're going to get that one out. See, it doesn't really go with the flow. It's kind of an orange shell. So we're going to get rid of him. Add something else. I feel like I'm not curvy enough. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna get some of these crushed, crushed shells. And I'm just gonna smatter in just kind of around this area, just filling in some gappers. And we'll add some glass. I think I need something here. I love this. Look at that. That is dead sexy. We're gonna put that put that here. Or maybe over here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like it here. Oh, I love this. Check that out. It's very naughty. Not naughty. Naughty. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's, a little bit more of this, I think, just to kind of ground some of the shells so they're not just floating on the canvas. Now, let's move to our next thing, which is going to be some glass. This is the classic clear glass. It does um, have a little bit of a blue hint to it, a, you know, a tealy kind of tint. Yes, exactly. I did, Sherry. I'm sorry. I meant to tell you that. I just slapped a little bit of white, Anita's white, on this canvas so it was nice and fresh and clean. Because sometimes you open your canvas, you open your package, and it has, even though it's been primed, uh, it has like some bumps and mars. So I always put a coat of white. Unless I'm painting it another color, then I put another color. But even if it's staying white, I always put a uh, coat of white on it. So now I'm gonna use my clear glass and I am just going to add some pizzazz. And I'm not gonna micromanage it either. Gonna kinda let it go where it goes. We'll add a little at the top here. Oh, starting to look good. The glass just makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Doesn't it just give it that one thing it needed so badly? Let's put a little down here by this thing. Hey, Connie. I wish I was doing this at the beach. That would make me happy. I did have a little mini beach vacation though. Uh, recently, so I can't complain too much. Okay, guys, I think that's enough. And I maybe used, you know, two ounces of glass. That was just a handful. Okay, now guess what? We're gonna use some bubbles. Isn't it pretty, Mary? I love it too. It looks like it's just floating. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of bubbles in my little container, and I'm just gonna pat them around let them go where they want to go. They're like teenagers. You can't boss them around. Sometimes it's best to just let them be. All right. So we got some bubbles. And I think the last thing I want to add, let me throw some of these in, is I actually brought something special to the table because I got in, I know some of you who are in the Shutter Circle know what I'm talking about when I say glass chips. So I got in some glass chips from my glass guy. And so, and I also had these little flat um, 
flat-sided beads that you can get at Hobby Lobby and Michael's in the floral department. So we might use a couple of those too. But the, these are just little chunks of glass that glass blowers throw away. But my glass blower sells them to me. So he just waits till he gets a bucket full and then he will sell it to me by the pound. And so I go fetch that stuff because it is a beautiful addition to what's happening here. So look at this piece. It's kind of it's kind of iridescent. Can you see how pretty that is? Ooh, it's going on here. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these lighter colored pieces in to um, our work here and see how that looks. Just random, I'm not really worrying about where it goes too much. And here's what else I have are some clear sea glass pieces. Now, when you put resin over the top of sea glass, that uh, frosty look is gonna go away, okay? But I still like it. So we're gonna add a few of those pebbles too. A half a foot of snow, where in God's name do you live, Katie? Oh my Lord. I'm in Georgia, ain't, we ain't about no snow over here. We, I think uh, it's been nice and cool the last few days, but uh, we've had this past week uh, temperatures up to 90 degrees, so yeah. Bubbles, yes, it does, because they're a little iridescent, so they catch the lights. So let me see. I'm trying to decide what else. I think I'll throw in a couple of these little white things just for a pop of something different. Let's decide where I want to put them. And let's see. I'm about to run out of Waltons to put some of this up here. Wyoming. Oh my goodness. Girl, you do keep it. I love the way snow looks for a day, but goodness gracious, after that, I'm done. 87. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I pulled these out too, but I think that that's too much color for what we're doing here. Uh, it's all pretty neutral, and so I want to, I'm going to pull this out too. We'll wiggle that back in later. Uh, I want to keep it somewhat neutral. I don't want a lot of color in here. So we're going to skip the, these blue pieces. Iridescent gem medium and go, wow, Catherine, I had no idea. I'll have to check that out. So I'm going to just move these pieces aside because I think I am done with that. I'm done with that. So I'm going to move those aside and... I hope, I, I was kind of hoping that Sherry would pop on and tell me if she liked it, but I'm going to assume that she's going to. It's pretty much what she wanted. It is beautiful. It is really pretty and iridescent. It's got a little bit of gold on the end. It's really pretty, but I don't know. I think maybe, I don't know, I may have to just set it there and then look. It needs some balance. Is that too much? What do you think, guys? Blue or no blue? I have three pieces that have a little bit of blue in them, so we could add just for a little bit of color. So what do you think, blue or no? Yes? I kinda like it. I'm gonna stand up and look at it from like, you know, I, I think it speaks to me. I think it says, keep me. Yes, I think it does. I think it wants to stay. <laughs> so, no blue, no blue, blue. Sherry, are you here? Are you online? Y'all are killing me, man. Okay, Tammy and Judy are on opposing sides. <laughs> okay, Richard, our dude tiebreaker. We're leaving the blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get ready. That's okay, guys. I'm gonna leave the blue, and if uh, Sherry doesn't like it, 
I like it, so if she doesn't like it, we'll make her a new one. <laughs> so I kind of balanced it out. I have three, and they're not very dark. They're not as dark in person as it kind of looks on camera. So I get, I get it. I get it. I do like y'all's opinion, but I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so now what I've done is placed my blocks up under my canvas so that when I pour resin, if any of it runs off the sides, it won't stick my canvas to my paper. So you're always gonna elevate, okay? Yes, thank you, I love it too. This one looks really bright because it's closest to the camera and I promise it's not as in your face as you might think. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this one uh, starfish because these are really hard to make, cons to cover with resin consistently. Um, you mean down here? I don't like even numbers though, so maybe I should move this one a little further down. Give it some balance. How's that? None of them are lined up this way or this way. Okay, so I'm gonna move this off because these are really hard to cover. So I'm gonna do my resin and then I'm gonna lay this back in where I want it to be. So um, don't let me forget that. So I'm gonna yell at me if I forget. So I'm gonna set it right here. So I have already like mixed and measured my resin. So we're gonna do four ounces of resin. So I have two ounces of part A in this cup and I have two ounces of part B in this cup, okay? And I'm gonna put my gloves on. And I already took off my watch. Aren't you guys proud of me? Normally you have to tell me to take my watch off. Well, I've been looking for Sherry, but I hadn't seen any. Oh, I'm going to, Sheila. I'm just being, I'm just, trying to read and work at the same time. Okay, ready to go. So yes, let's take these off. These are just really hard to resin. They get discolored. The resin makes them discolored and, and then it soaks up the resin differently. So half of it may turn like orangey and then the other half won't and I hate the way that looks. So I almost always take off my starfish and then just place them back on top of the resin so that they don't have that discolored look because it makes me crazy. Okay, so I am going to mix our resin. Like I said, I have two ounces and two ounces, and I have my little stir stick. So I am gonna dump one into the other. I use art resin exclusively for those of you who ask. Um, art resin is a 50-50 mixture. Hey, Jackie. Uh, all resins are different, so whatever resin you choose to use, and um, I use art resin. I do have some other resin here in the studio that someone sent me to try that I'm gonna try to uh, check out later. But I am an art resin girl. It's a 50-50 mix, but you have to follow the directions on whatever resin you're using because they're not all the same. So make sure you follow the directions on the resin that you're using. So I'm gonna scrape out as much as I can so that my mixture is right. I'm gonna put this cup aside. Supper is ready. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you about supper. He probably bought supper, Janice. So now I have to mix for three minutes. So Rima, can you hit my timer? Can you do timer for me? Are you still here, babe? So I'm gonna stir for three minutes and I want you to look how I'm stirring. I'm not whipping it, okay? I'm not stirring it like I'm uh, making, um, like I'm whipping uh, uh, egg whites. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. I am stirring slowly because the faster you stir, the more bubbles that get incorporated into your resin and then you have to fight that fight. So we're gonna stir slow and steady for three minutes and then we'll pour our resin. 
So I'm gonna raise this up so I can talk to you for three minutes because I hate not doing it. Just cut half my head off. <laughs> so we're gonna stir for three minutes. So does anybody while I'm stirring have a question about our five day challenge? It starts and yes, I know. Tony, I'll have to tell you this. I didn't start using art resin. I've used probably six or seven different resins over the course of my resin career. And uh, none of them have been as dependable or easy to use as art resin. So I am an art resin girl. So this other resin is gonna really have to be impressive to, thank you, Rima, to, for me to uh, change. So, you know, I warned them too, though, that uh, I was an art resin girl. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you, Cheryl, you're so sweet. I gotta keep, I have to remember to keep resin. I mean, stirring. So does anybody have a question about the five-day challenge that's coming up? It's October 21st through the 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, it's five days, five steps to creating this beauty right here. <laughs> she is so fun. She is so fun. Even my husband, who, you know, mostly ho-hums, some of the things I do, fell in love with her. He was like, oh my God, that's awesome. So yeah, he's not really that impressed with much of my work. <laughs> That's not true. I shouldn't say that. He does think he needs to tell me when something needs something, though. He's like, I think that needs a little some of this or a little some of that. And I always tell him, when you have your uh, degree in art, you can come talk to me. You want the kit so you're not sure you sent the right message. Uh, Judy, I'm going to go live in the um, Shattered Circle after we're done here and talk to you guys about how to order so uh, so that we don't confuse everybody else. So, let's see. And I'll get you taken care of, honey. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, so. Lynette, yes, in the kit, there's only enough glass for the one project. So if you want more kit, more glass, you'll have to just purchase some extra separate. What did somebody just say? I said I have a makeup printer done. Oh my gosh. What are you having done, Richard? Jackie, what are you talking about? What? This is a canvas. The beachy thing I'm doing is a canvas. Thank you, Cynthia. I was getting tired. Thank you, Rima. Okay, I'm gonna point it back down so we can get started resining since supper's ready. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing right in your face. Okay, so remember we put these shells down first so that we wouldn't have uh, glass and stuff stuck up under there. So, um, yes, thank you, Jennifer, for using the link in the group. <laughs> your stomach for ulcers, the Lord have mercy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, and I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. I do that very methodically so that I don't forget where I'm at, and I don't end up skipping a whole area. So don't go random. Start on one end and work towards yourself. So I am just gonna start up at the top. I'm gonna get that shell covered really nicely. Let's see. When is your procedure, Richard? Are you talking about when we have the challenge? I'm gonna to have to use my hand to kind of smear that on, around on there. I'm gonna work my way down, drizzling. Somebody always asks me why I drizzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why I drizzle. And I drizzle so that every bit of the glass and the shells are covered. Okay, so if I just dump it 
and let it spread out and run, it's not gonna get on the top surface of the glass. It's only gonna hit on the bottom and anything that's floating above the level of the canvas will not be adhered to the canvas. So doing it this way makes the resin go from the top through the glass and through all the shells and adheres it all together. So that's why I drizzle. Oh my goodness, y'all a bunch of ulcer people. No, Nancy, I have not. The kits won't go out until next week. I don't have the resin in yet. It should The resin should be here tomorrow. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't got that notification yet, but uh, I'm, ex I'm expecting the resin to be here tomorrow. But um, so the kits will probably go out on Monday. So if you need to add something, you can uh, just order it. And if we add it to your kit, we'll probably just stick it in the box and then uh, uh, refund you for any uh, shipping that you paid over. Does that make sense? So if you paid for shipping for your box and we add it to your box and the shipping only cost a dollar more than without the glass, then we would refund you anything that you paid for your additional. Does that make sense? <laughs> We always do that too. So anytime you guys order from us, uh, you know, because sometimes it's hard for the um, website to know, you know, even though something, it might be 20 bags of glass that weighs 20 pounds, and the, but the website doesn't know how big of a box we have to use. And um, so anytime that you buy something from me, if you pay too much for shipping, I always refund that and I always do my very best to get you the best shipping rate possible so that I can refund any of that uh, shipping that needs to be refunded. Always do that because sh paying for shipping sucks anyway. <laughs> you're welcome Cindy. Yeah if you pour you're gonna you're not gonna hit all the things because this is layered up. There are shells on top of glass, glass on top of shells and all that stuff. So if you just pour it, you're gonna mess, you're gonna be so sad when you go come back the next day and pick it up because you're gonna have missed so much. And then you'll be sad. I hear my kitty cats. My kitty cats are here in the studio with me. I built a wall last week. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but we are in a temporary housing situation right now because our house sold and uh, our closing has been delayed 7,248 times. But hopefully we're closing on Monday. So we ended up renting a short-term rental uh, because we hadn't found anything. We uh, hadn't found anything yet. So uh, we got a short-term rental and we, I couldn't take all my animals because we have five animals, guys, five. Yes, I said five. Uh, so I built a wall in the front of my studio and my cats are staying here temporarily. And it makes me sad at night when I go to bed and my kitty cats aren't home, but they seem to be doing pretty well. It makes me get up and get to the studio faster, too, because I want to come and play with my kitty cats. So, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm almost done. Here's what I'm doing, just so you know. Um, I am covering the entire big shells, and even though I can see I have some skippy spots, I'm going to use my fingers to uh, cover those because I want them to be nice and covered and shiny. Let's see. Pour a minute, minute, minute. Yes, pouring does make a mess, and I don't like it running. I don't like to waste. The way I uh, apply my resin saves so much money and cost in the resin, and resin's not cheap, guys. This stuff is not cheap. This is not a cheap hobby, <laughs> not a cheap craft. So uh, I try to teach you guys how to pour resin or how to apply your resin to your piece without wasting a drop of resin because that stuff's too expensive. If you pour it, 
It's just gonna run everywhere. It's gonna run off the sides, onto your table, and so you're just wasting resin. So let's don't waste. We don't waste. Uh, if you're gonna do two, uh, the glass that we're using for our angel is called Gold Reflective. Uh, so you can just order another pound of Gold Reflective if, um, if you want. Uh, if you want to do your second angel in another color, I would suggest maybe platinum. That's a really pretty color. It's like a, um, yeah, I'm going to put them back in just a second. The platinum is like a champagne color. It's not really silver. It's kind of a goldy silver. So uh, the platinum is really pretty. But the what we're using on our um, angel in the challenge is the gold reflective. So... If you want to get more so you can make two, that's what you need to order. Okay, so now I'm going to use my hands and I'm going to make sure my big shell is nice and covered, especially this one because it's kind of porous. And I mixed um, four ounces of resin and I used probably three and a half. I still have just a smidge left. I'll dump on something. And, but um, so about three and a half ounces is what it took to do this eight by 16 shell piece. So let me smear all this around. And now I'm going to get my little baby starfish that goes up here and I'm gonna stick him in. Make sure he's stuck down really nicely. And wipe that off. I'm gonna get my bigger starfish and I'm actually gonna dump a little more resin right there. And then we're going to just push him back in. Make sure he's stuck down. I'm gonna get a, a um, little pointy stick to try to move some of the stuff that's under him around a little bit, so we can get him back down where he needs to be. There we go. That works. And we have one more little baby. I love abalone shells. We're gonna stick it right here. La, la. Now, Perfection. So now what we're going to do is torch. Okay, let's see. Do you always smear the resin on the bare canvas? Yes, ma'am, I do. I always cover the entire canvas. I don't worry too much if there are some little pinholes or tiny little skippies because that is just the nature of the beast. But I do try to cover the entire canvas as best I can. And I, then I don't worry about it beyond that. And no, I don't resin the sides, Marie, unless I have used too much resin and it rolls over the side a little bit. Then what I'd normally do, Marie, is just get a little resin on my hands and just barely rub it on the sides so that it's just a tiny smidge of resin and then it doesn't um, cause drips on the underside of your canvas. Now, if you find that you're a little heavy-handed in your resin use and it is running down the sides, the best thing to do is take your canvas before you start and use this blue tape and tape the underside of your canvas, or you can even tape, tape the sides of your canvas. And then you need to pull this after it's dry within 24 hours. If you wait longer than 24 hours, you might have a hard time getting that um, tape off. So make sure you pull that uh, as soon as it's dry within the 24 hour time frame. Okay, so here's what I want to tell you. We are, I'm not gonna cover the starfish. I don't like the way resin changes the color of the starfish. That's why I pulled them off and then put them back on. I'm letting them just float in the uh, juice on the underside and that's all that we're gonna do. But here's what I have to tell you guys. We are going to uh, use our torch to pop our bubbles, but you have to be super duper cautious where your starfish are so that you don't burn 
the tops of your starfish. Now I'm using a torch. Uh, this is a pretty good size torch for any of you guys who are uh, watching for the first time. You don't have to use this big monster. You can use a heat gun, one of those small heat guns for embossing, or you can use a creme brulee kitchen torch or anything smaller. This is just what I have because I've been doing this so long. So I am going to avoid my starfish as best I can and just kind of try to get around the edges. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit that just real quick, okay? So you just don't, hey, Kara, hey, lovey-dovey. You just don't wanna burn those starfish because they do not have resin on them. So I'm gonna turn my torch on, turn it down, and I'm gonna start down here because there are no starfish. So I'm just gonna start down here. And you notice how my arm is moving constantly, that you can see that I'm moving that torch, moving that torch, moving that torch. You don't wanna stop. You don't wanna stop and focus in on one area. And you don't want the fire, if you're using a torch, you don't want the flame touching your canvas, okay? What pops the bubbles is the heat, not the fire. No fire. So be real careful where these pieces are because you don't want to burn those. All right, so I think I'm done. Let me look at it. Take a close look. I see a little something, something, a piece of debris. And if you, ha if you see when you're done that you have whew, that you have a little piece of debris, I love heat guns too. Uh, I see one right here, and I'm using a skewer. You could use a toothpick or a skewer, anything pointy. But there's a little piece of fuzz right there and right there and right there. That looks like a dried up chunk of resin, probably from me using this cup 72 times. Might be time to throw that cup away. <laughs> Okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Do you love it? Yes, you can put this tarfish on after you torch. That is a fabulous idea. I wish I'd have thought of that. <laughs> that would have been smart, wouldn't it? But, yeah, when you're, on, when you're online, you don't really think smart sometimes. So, do you love it or what? I'm going to turn it sideways a little bit so you can I can get it a little bit closer to the camera is that not lovely and did the didn't the blue pieces turn out well not too much not too little love it I wish Sherry was here oh awesome so let I'm gonna raise the camera back up for just a quick second I see another piece of something something right here. It's probably some dirt from the shells because even though I do rinse my glass before I put it in my bucket, I didn't rinse the shells. So it's probably just some debris coming off of those shells that I'm seeing. So I'm gonna make sure I don't have any big old pieces. Yeah.